These are the common tools used in engineering. It's important that you at least get a, a handle on what they are and see what they are. Um, before I show them to you, I want to go to this website. Um, so this is Autodesk.com. And this is free software. So all this software down here, things like, um, so AutoCAD is a 2D drawing package. <coughs> Students can get a three-year version of this software, and it costs, I think it's about $2,000 now. Uh, 3D Studio Max costs $3,000. Inventor, or the architectural package, $3,000. Inventor, I think it's close to $5,000 now. Students can get these packages free. But of course, again, it's free, but you have to have the, the computers that will run these. So the larger applications like AutoCAD and the architectural applications, those are the same packages used out in the industry, so they require more resources. But what I'm going to show you today, I'm going to show you those, but one of the videos, the videos we just saw, use 1, 2, 3 design, that will pretty much run on an iPad. Any computer running a Windows operating system will run 1, 2, 3 design. Uh, 3 Creature I'll show you. These are all free pieces of software. And there's a ton on here. Which one did you guys use out in your plants? Did you use Autodesk products or different? Uh, we use SolidWorks. Yeah, I, SolidWorks. Use, I use SolidWorks in my classroom too, but if these are free, do you guys just have like a, like a username password to load them? Or these are free for your students. For your students. For your students. For you to fill your lab, you'll have to buy the Design Academy. What's SolidWorks called? Design Academy. Academy. CAD Academy. Yeah. yeah. That's what we, because it's got hard CAD and SolidWorks. Right. For the, right. So you buy the Design Academy for that. Sorry. This software here is meant to be for their personal. Computer. Yes, okay. right. It's for a specific computer, so you can't use it in the lab. Okay. But it is the same software used out in industry. Mm -hmm. uh, these applications down here, this flow design, uh, force effect, force motion. Um, these applications actually simulate, or they do analysis of designs. So this is a free application that runs really well on tablets and iPads. They can apply a force to a bridge and see the interaction of the components and the structure of the bridge, see what forces, stresses, and strains are applied to those components. That's force effect. Would that be the program that I've seen in somebody else's classroom where they ran a, they called it the 30-30-30, where they had a, basically they took the balance straws and they had to make their structure, support structure, 30 centimeters tall, had to hold 30 kilograms for 30 seconds. Oh. But before they did that, they had to actually input the design in to see if it would theoretically hold. Is that what that would do? Possibly. This one is less than a year old. So prop, one of the things you might have saw is um, West Point Bridge Designer. West Point Bridge Designer is real popular for uh, MDOT, World's Competition Every Year Design, a bridge out of Balsa Wood. A lot of classes use that. Um, and it stresses and strains, you apply a load to it, and that tells you where it's going to hold the load or not. So probably not this one, but very similar, same thing. This, the nice thing about this one is it runs on a whole bunch of different platforms like iPads and tablets. <coughs> um, this flow design, they don't have a picture of a flow design. If you have your students design something like a car, they can do the aerodynamics for the car. So all free software, that site will be up in our Google Doc also so you can get to it.